Hi Beatrix, it's your Uncle John. I'm going to show you a little bit on how I make this kind of brioche kind of uh, uh, kind of a challah bread kind of bread dough recipe. It's not the simplest bread dough, that would be pizza dough, but uh, it is not too hard. So we're going to start with one cup of milk and we're going to uh, scald it on the stove. And scalding just means we're going to bring it up to a boil and then let it cool down. Okay, now the milk is boiled and we can turn off the heat. And while that's cooling down, we'll move over here to the mixer and we can cream our butter and sugar together. We have one stick of butter, unsalted butter. And that goes into the mixer. And we can turn it on very well. And we have a half a cup of sugar. Now it's smoother and it's lightened in color. It's been about five or six minutes. And now we can start introducing the eggs and we're gonna crack them each into this little bowl so we make sure not to get any egg shell fragments in there. And there's one egg. We'll turn up the speed a little bit. And that looks pretty well mixed in. We can add egg number two. And the third egg. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. And we're adding it to the egg and sugar mixture and butter and not to the part that's going to get the yeast because salt can retard the growth of yeast and at this point we want our yeast to be nice and strong and healthy okay now the milk has cooled down to about just a little bit warmer than your body temperature and so now we can add the yeast we have one pack of just regular bread yeast and we'll just sprinkle that right into the milk let that soak in and now we can start adding flour to our butter and sugar and egg mixture. And we're using bread flour here because we need the extra protein to make the, uh, the nice crumb and, and texture of nice bread so it can hold that yeast breath. Okay, this is about uh, the right consistency. That's about the right amount of flour we want to stop using the paddle attachment and switch it off and scrape off the dough. And now we can turn our attention back to the milk and yeast. And this is the sponge portion of our dough, which means it has the yeast and some flour in it. And then we're gonna add that flour now. I think this is gonna be just the right amount of flour. After we get this stirred in, we're just gonna set this aside and watch it grow. You'll see the yeast start to give off bubbles and it should turn nice and foamy. All right, that's just right. And it's been about a half an hour and our dough, our sponge has gotten spongy and foamy. And so now it's about time to bring it together with the sugar and butter portion of the dough. Now we're going to bring it together with the dough hook. And we'll keep adding flour until it all comes together. And we'll keep adding flour and letting it knead slowly until the dough no longer sticks to the sides of the bowl. You see the dough is starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl a little bit. It still needs a little more flour. You know the dough is pulling away from the sides of the bowl. We can shut it down now. Get it off the dough hook. You can 
see it's all sliding off as one piece. That's the texture we want right there. We'll just spray it down with a little oil. And put a wrap on top of the bowl. Doesn't have to be wrapped too tight because it's going to expand overnight where we're going to leave it in the fridge. So we're going to refrigerate this dough overnight and in the morning we're going to form it and put some cinnamon inside and bake it up. Of course with any food project we start with washing our hands. The dough has retarded overnight. It's cold still. We're going to unwrap it. The so, bench with some flour. Turn out the dough. And start rolling it out. It's still fairly easy to work with now because it's cold. It's not snapping right back. We're going to roll this up pretty flat, pretty square. But it doesn't have to be too perfect. That's about as thin as we want to get it. I'll try to make it a little more square. Anybody who's watching that is going to be now we'll do the filling with cinnamon and sugar. And that looks like a uh, great. Okay, the dough's rolled out. Got it rolled up with the filling of cinnamon and sugar. Put it on the baking dish. Curl it into a ring. Kind of smush the edges together. Oh, I think it's yon Scissors and sniff about three, two thirds of the way in, every about inch or so. Now, this bread dough has to rise for about an hour and a half. Now, the dough has risen about two hours, and we've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And we put it in for about oh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then we'll check it and see if it's done. We're gonna check and see if it's done. And that looks pretty well done to me. Nicely browned all the way around. Now we take it out and let it cool down for probably at least another hour. And now it's cooled down for about an hour. And we're ready to slice it up and eat.